Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rare Card Finds. Um, so in this episode I'm going to be opening uh, a couple of sports car packs as well as um, a Harry Potter booster box. So these are quite sought after and um, in demand so hopefully you guys actually enjoy this. Um, so before I bring these out I just wanted to let everyone know that I really appreciate the actual attention that my videos have been getting even though he seems quite minimal compared to let's say the other channels um i still do appreciate everyone who's subscribing um i'm just shocked that i'm even getting any attention to be honest um i never thought that i could actually do this as a hobby um and, you know actually have people that actually want to watch these videos so i really appreciate it um so before I kind of waste any more time um, I will just let you know that I am basically going to be opening the Harry Potter and the Social Stone booster box um, as well as a Premier League um, bunch of cards basically for all of you football or soccer fans um, so I'll just probably do a mixture of it just to make things a little bit more interesting um, I'm not actually too familiar with this actual booster box. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's made from Wizards of the Coast, so it's going to be quite in demand. Um, I mean, the, the packs right now, as far as I know, go for around one to two hundred pounds. Um, I was lucky enough to actually buy these booster boxes at a discounted rate. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not an actual expert, let's say, in these type of cards but if any of you guys actually know um which of these cards are actually really valuable and you know which are not and uh, which ones i should basically get off to get graded uh, just comment below and let me know um, so so yeah hopefully this video won't be actually too long um i don't really like making long videos to be honest so I'd rather just kind of get straight to the point so so yeah, I've had these, um, I had this booster box for I think up to a year to be honest. Um, I was always unsure when to actually open it, but um, to be honest, it's Christmas day and you know, after having a, a bit of wine and champagne, I just thought, okay, it's just sitting here, so why not? So yeah, the pack actually looks really nice. It looks really clean and crystal clear. I tend to not actually throw away these boxes. I think they come in quite handy, to be honest. But, um, yeah. So yeah, so these cards are, well, movie cards, but hopefully there'll be some hollows or some type of really rare type of cards, you know, that I can actually pull. Um, I won't be pulling too, I mean, I won't be opening too many. I'm just going to be opening a few just to see if you guys actually want to see any more. Um, maybe I'll open about 10, let's say. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yeah, guys, let me know if you guys actually want to see me actually open all of these. Um, just testing the waters here, really. So... Yeah, I've got my sleeves and, um, you know, card savers and everything ready just in case. Um, just in case I need to get any graded. So these are how it looks like. Pretty good condition to be honest. Um, so inside the leaky cauldron. Oh, Draco Malfoy. Draco investigates. Beginning flying. The back of these cards actually got information on it as well. As you can see, there's a Wizards of the Coast symbol on there. Um, Harry makes a friend. Watching Harry's flight. Quiet moment. And letters from no one. So I wonder if which of these are actually rares. I think you can probably tell from the back. Um, so nope, not this one, not this one, not this one, 
not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one. So that's quite interesting. So I guess these packs, some are going to have rares and some are not. So that, in a way, it's quite a good thing to be honest, guys. Um, I prefer it when it's harder to kind of pull the rares. You know, it just makes those rares a lot more valuable, to be honest. Um, instead of, you know, saturating the market and having rares in every single pack. Um, so yeah, I do believe these Harry Potter packs will have cards that will be worth a lot of money in the future, to be honest. Um, they've got a strong fan base and... Oops. Hmm, interesting. They've got fan, you know, a strong fan base and, you know, a cult following and I uh, just feel like everyone there's gonna be a point where someone really wants a card and it's just gonna increase this value so serious considerations professor Minera McGonagall Hagrid and friends Harry enters Gringotts Express to Hogwarts and Harry of Gryffindor House I'd love to hear from all of you Harry Potter fans specifically. Um, I'd love to see what you guys actually think of these cards. Um, is this something that you would actually purchase? Um, you know, is this something that you would actually, you know, want possession of? But, you know, me as a trading card fan, I kind of had to buy these. So far, I don't think I've seen any rares or any hollows or anything like that. Grid as host, mother and son on the same side, head table, and Christmas gift. So, yeah, this is a bit strange because this is from Wizards of the Coast, but I'm actually seeing any rares, which is a bit weird. I wonder what you guys think. Is this something you've expected? With the with the love the coast. Yep. Nope. Um. Yeah. So it just seems to all be like uncommons and commons and basically no rares. Anyway, we'll open about ten packs and see basically what it holds. Um. You know, unless I'm just unlucky and all ten packs I've well, you know. Taken out basically has no res. Well, that's probably unlikely. Flying instructor. Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Malfoy flying. Hagrid's heart. Manners lesson. Hermione. In oh. Have I just missed all these hollows on my days? So this is an actual hollow. I probably haven't missed them, but I have a look at the end. So this is an ho this is actual hollow Hermione in the forest. But it's really hard to miss it. I mean, it's really easy to miss it because it's so glossy. Look at that. It's hollow. But yeah, should should have the rare symbol, right? No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. So that means I may have missed some hollows. You guys, you know, that probably, you guys have probably spotted this already and, you know, probably think I'm pretty stupid. Um, but yeah, this is a hollow. Um, pretty amazing, to be honest. Um, so let's just have a quick look and just make sure there's, uh, you know, I didn't actually miss anything out. Oops. Whoops, uh, for some reason the camera nearly fell. But yeah, um, I just had a quick look through the cards. Uh, I didn't miss any hollows, luckily. But yeah, so far one hollow. These um, packs definitely hold some level of nostalgia, to be honest. Um, even when you actually open these, you can actually smell that plastic smell, you know, that plastic smell. And you basically open up fresh packs. Um, just basically smells of childhood, if you know what I mean. Hagrid as a host. Harry as a quaffle. Flying instructor. 
Harry and Hermione. A few words. Oh, this is hollow. Wow, you could so easily miss this. Wow, look at that. This is hollow. But if you compare it to this card, let's say for example, it's, I mean, you can see the difference, but it's very, not very close. Sorry, it's very close. It's literally... Okay then. So this is the next hollow. A few words. Headmaster Albus Dumbledore opens a start of term banquet with a speech and welcomes new students. Okay, so I guess I've got a good ratio here in terms of the hollows I'm pulling. Okay, I'll open one more and then I'll just start opening the um, actual sports Premier League cards. I'm quite excited by it to be honest because um, I mean they're pretty cheap they're only like five pound and as far as I know it says it's got a limited edition inside uh, actual limited edition pack so you know kind of guaranteeing me that it's worth something um, so see if I get anything special here serious considerations Flea showing off Fang and Fang and Barhound to the skies. Wingardium Leviosa, isn't this nostalgic? In Charms class, Hermione is the first to master Professor Flitchwick's lesson on making objects fly. She speaks the words Wingardium Leviosa with a long gar and wishes, swishes and flicks her wand. The feather, the feather begins to float. This is pretty nostalgic from the movie. Okay, no hollows in that one as far as I know. Uh, just checking, okay. So I'm going to be opening these packs now before the Premier League. So I'll be opening these ones. Interestingly, this is a checklist. I've actually got another checklist here somewhere, but obviously I ain't got time to read through it. Basically, these cards are going to have new signings. These packs are going to have new signings, squad plus cards, adrenaline rush cards, golden ballers, diamonds, power pairs, elites, flying fullbacks, um, leaders, dream debuts, heroes, game breakers, star signings and gold machines. So, I mean, as far as I know, I think golden ballers are probably one of the most valuable. Yeah. Um... Obviously, you guys are the experts here, so you, please um, let me know down on the comments below. Um, let everyone know, you know, just kind of be as, be insightful, you know, teach people. But basically, I'm just trying to open this without actually knocking down my camera, which I nearly did. Okay, I think this is probably best I just do it here. These cards are actually good. I might actually end up investing into more of these, to be honest. Here we go. Like I said, limited edition. So one of these packs, I guess. I'll open one of these. I'll open the limited one right at the end. So hopefully I'm not damaging it. It's kind of stuck on here. Okay, just open one. Let's see how that goes. So, this is for all of you Premier League fans. Let's see, I'm a fan of the Premier League as well, to be honest. Not really enjoying the whole COVID situation and having no fans, but I think we should just be grateful that we even have matches on, to be honest. Okay, so here goes. Um, I guess it's got two sides to it. Uh, Fikayo Tomori from Chelsea. 
um, squad plus card. Promise I have Novanovic, West Brom player, uh, Rodrigo Marino, Rodrigo from Leeds. He's a new signing, looks quite good. Uh, Powell pair, so obviously Southampton doing pretty great so far. Ward Prowse, hmm, interesting. What is this for? Digital packet. I doubt this is, a, you know, it's probably not a real pack. Probably a digital pack, but yeah, it's for all of you guys if you want it. It's the pack. This is a defender, and the defender is. Diamond. Okay, Jamal Lewis. And this is the rare. I guess this is the hollow, isn't it? So, pretty cool, pretty cool. And the final card is, oh, Diago Jota. It's doing pretty great for Liverpool so far. It's for all of you Portuguese fans. So yeah, these cards are actually made really nice as well, to be honest. I, if I had these graded in so PSA, I think it would look pretty cool, to be honest. Um, definitely going to sleeve these up. Okay, you know what, I think I'll just open one more. Quite enjoying these to be honest. Um, it's a lot easier to actually rip open as well. So, okay. Go, so the rares are the back. Curtis Jones, Liverpool. Doing pretty good. Um, Powell Pair, Wood and Rodriguez. Ferran Torres, future star, I'm saying, future star. Pablo Mari, haven't seen too much of him to be honest for Arsenal. Here's another code. Is one of the rares, Jordan Henderson, he's the leader. Definitely surprised me as a leader, but he's definitely doing well in that position. Pretty cool. Final card is Neil Mope, Gold Machine. I don't think he's actual, you know, Gold Machine, but I get what they're trying to say. Okay, hope you guys actually enjoyed that. Um, so let me just continue with these Harry Potter packs. Hopefully, I can actually, um, you know, get these done within the next few minutes. Okay. Let's do these quicker. Okay. Bags and baggage. Meeting. Meeting the boy who lived. Mm, interesting. Help arrives. Hermione the scholar. Heroic run. Hagrid Hogwarts. Announcing Lee Jordan. Okay. As far as I know, there was no reds, but to be honest, I'm not even that sure. It's so glossy, I can't even tell sometimes. Okay. Gryffindor. Hmm. Yeah, so guys, tell me if these are actually booster packs that actually interest you. Would you actually buy these? Do you think it's actually worth investing into these for the future? I'm still not actually sure whether I should actually just invest into these and actually keep these boxes or actually open them and grade them. Um, obviously, all the experts out there, just kind of let me know. Um, okay, I'm sure lots of people would want to know as well anyway, to be honest. Okay, what have we got two packs here left? So guys, yeah, before I obviously end this video, um, in a few minutes, obviously, um, just let me know if you guys want to see any more in the comments below, just uh, give me a comment. Give me a like and give me a subscribe, otherwise it will be pretty tough for me to continue these and actually afford these packs without, you know, you guys actually show me the love, so I really appreciate it. 
definitely will be showing the appreciation in the future of uh, 2021. Okay, this is the final pack. Draco investigates. Beginning flying. Harry makes a friend. Watching Harry's flight. Hagrid's hot. Is that the, oh, that's not the hollow, is it? No, Harry of Gryffindor House. Express to Hogwarts. Yeah. So you just have to make sure. It's pretty tough to actually see which ones are hollows and which ones are not. So yeah, guys, that was all my Harry Potter packs. Um, so obviously, as I promised, I'm just going to be opening up the rest of these Premier League packs. Let's get these out of the way. So, it's quite interesting. These booster packs are more made out of paper, to be honest, but the actual cards are actually quite good quality, to be honest. Uh, they're quite reminiscent of, um, you know, the Pokemon Tops cards. Okay, Eric Barley, Anthony Gordon, Bernard Traore, Dunk Webster, new signing Rafinha is doing great, is the code, and the rare is Fernandinho, Game Breaker. So obviously I'm not actually a fan of these teams, but if I was, I'd be over the moon in opening up. My favourite players, let's say. But yeah, you know, I'm actually banking on these cards to actually be worth something, uh, especially when the new season starts. That tends to be the case with all the sports cards. You know, it's all about what you call it. The um, what was the word? The rookie cards. That's it. Okay, new signing. Ad Reed, Nathan Ake. Pack. Let's get this done quick. And the two pounds are. Oh, this is the elite. Joe Bryan. And the hero. Sander Burge. Haven't really heard of him, which is a bit weird. Okay, um, so I've got two more packs here. So I think I will open this one at the end. Okay, it's a bit sticky, but yeah, guys, I really appreciate you guys actually. For one of the guys that have basically been able to watch it till the end, I really appreciate it. Okay, it's the leader Kevin Phillips. I just thought I'd just show you the rare first for some weird reason. Okay, Kevin Phillips, here's the actual code. And just, oh nice, look how nice this looks. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, adrenaline rush card, wow. Don't really want to get this graded. I think he's going to be definitely someone for the future, as well as him, Eddie Nikitia. Donny van der Beek is another star. That was Suchek. Power pair. Okay, interesting. Definitely that Calvert Lewin I wanna put into a sleeve. Um, okay, and here goes the limited edition, the one I'm excited by. This is what it looks like. Here it goes. Kind of got butterflies already. Okay, nothing in there. So as far as I know, it's one card. And it's definitely a Man City midfielder, which kind of gives it away. So it's a good one. Kevin De Bruyne. Wow. One of, if not, the best player in the Premier League, in my opinion. Limited edition Excel. Wow. This is definitely something to actually sleeve up. So guys, yes, I'm going to be sleeving these up as soon as I can. As soon as I finish the video, actually. But I, guys, I really appreciate all the you know the effort and time that you guys are putting into actually just watch my videos um 
you know, just just let me know if you want me to actually continue with uh, opening up those Harry Potter cards. If you guys actually enjoyed it, or even if you didn't, I would just prefer honesty, to be honest. Um, I've got plenty of other booster packs, so I will be opening up them soon, um, depending on whether you guys want to see or not. So thanks for the time, and um, I will be, let's say, showing you a video real soon. Bye.